We are proud and honored this evening to recognize and pay tribute to a man who has been a role model to us all. A man who personifies Zdaka and Israeli-American leadership, Mr. Leo David. <laughs> Leo's life story is nothing short of remarkable. As a teenager, Leo was part of Lehi, the Jewish underground forces battling the British. In 1948, he joined the Haganah forces and fought in Israel War of Independence, during which Leo was wounded. Leo immigrated to the United States in the early 50s, and along with his partner in life and business, his beautiful wife, Ruth, they built a variety of successful businesses. From their earliest days of success, Leo and Ruth began giving back to a wide array of charities here and in Israel. His greatest love and priority, though, has always been the brave soldiers of Israel Defense Forces. Not simply satisfied with writing a check, Leo, in 1981, pulled a few of his fellow Israeli-American friends together and started Friends of the IDF here on the West Coast. Today, Leo is not only one of the Friends of IDF largest donors, he also serves as a national board member and as a chair of its Western region, continue to lead by example. As he always has, with his heart, his mind, and his tremendous generosity. In my time, I was in the Independence War, and I've seen a lot of people who are really in a need because we didn't have anything. The main thing was to fight for a cause when I was for fighting in the underground for years and years, we hope we're going to see a nation, we're going to be a country. And I never dreamed in my life it would ever happen in my lifetime. And it happened. There are certain things would the army takes care of the soldiers, certain things you get from your mom, but you need some other people to help you. And here we are an organization to help the soldiers beyond what the army and your mother gives them. They feel that somebody else outside helping them, it's more important that I mean, if some people care for them, they will fight better, in my opinion, and they would feel that somebody is there for him. I'd like to see they should suffer less than I suffered when I was there. Thank God I can afford it today, so I can have to help them. And we would like to groom the new generation to have a feeling for Israel and for Judaism and should be there to help them continue. And we have an old saying in Hebrew, Anachnu Arabim Zelaze. We are responsible for each other. And that's the main thing. Leo David represents what the ILC is all about. Israeli-American leadership, community empowerment, activism, and philanthropy. It is our great honor to present Leo David with a 2009 ILC Israeli-American Leader Award. Thank you. Everybody, everybody knows me. I'm the worst guy when it comes to speeches. But jokes, yes. I'm, the, I'm a genius. <laughs> Most of the people know me. But today, I will ask something very unusual. It would call a riddle. And I speak it in Hebrew because that's the only way we know it. And whoever comes first gets from me, from the IDF, a nice watch. So let's go from that. I don't know. They didn't expect it. I should do that, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> the riddle is, Asu Mutar, Mutar Asu. What is it? Anybody can come up and tell me?
You're getting a gift. <laughs> Nobody there? It means a dog, a caliph. Atsu, mutar, mutar, atsu. Okay? Everybody know. Okay. You lost it, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. And I shouldn't say the second, I was laughing because he said we have about a quarter million Israelis here. But I remember the day when Ben Gurion went to China when we were only 640,000 Jewish in Israel. And he went to China and the Chinese president asked him, how many Jews are in Israel? He said, 640. He said, in which hotel are they staying? <laughs> so let it go from there. Network organization to ensure that many Israelis American can remain connected to the Israeli culture and the Hebrew language. It bridge the gap between the Jewish American community and the Israeli American community. And more important, it provides identity with sense of identity. The Israeli Leadership Council accomplished it and so much more. Thank you very, very much for having me tonight. And it's an easy one.